So, the girls are doing really well. They're getting big. Our little hurt girl, Stella, is right down there. She just stood up. She's in the center of the three. She's like tan with the diamond on her head. She's doing so much better. So much better. She's not perfect, but her health is like 80%. Nine, maybe 85% restored. But I had a pretty big chicken scare earlier. So th the good news is, is I'm not even sure I can tell which girl it was, but one of the leghorns, which those are the two back there that have the stripes on their face and head. There's one more here, but it's molting so much you can't barely differentiate. One of the leghorns was like laying like where I have that food dish. And she looked really wet. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what's going on? So I took the cardboard down, which I'm leaving up because I don't want to bother them. And she like didn't move. And then it could have been her. No, I think it was this one over here walking with the with the dime with the big stripe on its head. So she's like laying there and she's wet and she's not moving and I like I'm touching her and she's not moving and I'm checking her skin to see if there's any like skin ailments and I I check her little butt to make sure it's not pasty or plugged up. And basically such a giant amount of wood chips, which I'm going to clean now, had been built up. I sound negligent, but I'm really not. I mean, they, they hunt all day, you know, kicking the wood chips around. That the water was like seeping through the wood chips into the area right there. And basically, I think one of the unlucky girls like laid there, got wet, and then was almost like stunned by the cold. So look at this. Oh, man. I did a zoom because those feathers are looking crazy, but you know. So anyway, I like figured it out that she was just wet. And then I like wrapped her in a towel. She hated it. And then I lowered the heat lamps a little bit. I juiced them up a little bit. Not, don't worry, I checked the temp. It's back, it's 90, it was 92 in the hottest area, which means over here, it's not as hot. And I've been checking on her and she's fine, but it was really scary. I hate it when things happen to the girls and like, I understand like only one of them had a foot problem and now one of them like got wet, but I'm telling you like when they are not feeling right, it drives me nuts because I have no idea what to do and I just don't want to see them. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh, they're trying to escape. Anyway, now they're all like stunned. Girls. Girls. It's all right, girls. Well, anyway, it's just so hard for me when they don't feel good. But I think this one is all right. I think we're doing all right. And I guess lesson learned, like I have it on like a platform, probably not high enough, but I also don't want them to have to like work too hard to get their, their drink. So I guess it's just step by step. You know what I'm saying? Figuring it all out. I mean, I'm reading about them and such, but some stuff you just can't, you can't plan for, man. You have no idea. What drama these girls are going to bring. This one? This one's name is Sugar. And I know because they have different, you know, markings. Anyway, Sugar is just really funny. And that one's Stella. And this one's, this one's Punk. I'm going to leave them alone. They need some rest. I'm going to clean out their water and then leave them alone. Look at them fighting over a stick. 
It's not a worm, girls. You've had enough worms for today.